Good morning, church. Good morning. Morning, Internet. Our reading for today is 1 Corinthians 10, 1 to 13. It's the reading for today. You know, just before I, I came on live here now on uh, Facebook and started church, some of us, a few of us, were watching Isaiah the prophet. Very heavy preaching. The prophets of the Old Testament, they told it like it was. Some of you that were watching, kind of surprising how heavy preaching that is, isn't it? Isaiah the prophet, man, he's a preacher. That is a prophet. These prophets of today are phonies. They're promising you health and wealth, prosperity preachers. They come out of hell. Read Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Read them. Real prophets. I get accused daily, daily. I get accused of preaching too hard. I'm just preaching. To, all I'm preaching is the, the New Testament reading for today. And if it's too hard for you, that'd be what it may. Whenever I say something that's like a sugar stick, you know what sugar stick means? It means some frilly thing that means God's going to bless you and everything's going to be all right. Oh, they love it. Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm so glad what you said today. But I preach this. Today's reading what I preach today. Most of you people out there in Facebook, you want to hear it. And most of you here in church don't want to hear it either. Let's go. Moreover, brethren. You see, the church at Corneth was a very worldly church, ungodly. A very corrupt church. Very much uh, sexual sin in that church, like we have in church today. Moreover, brethren, it was... A, it was a church, but a lot of wicked people in it. I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did drink the same spiritual drink, verse 4. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ was with them in the wilderness. And that rock, you know, the, the, the Bible talks about Jesus as being the rock. The rock of ages. The great rock cornerstone that we trust in. And that rock was Christ. Christ has been all the way through the Old and the New Testament. You're saved the same way in the Old Testament as you are in the New by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. One of the different salvation. Some people say you got saved in the Old Testament by keeping the law. Never happened. No one could keep the law. No one ever did keep the law. No one can keep the law. It's only the blood of Christ that was pictured in the offerings in the Old Testament. We're picturing the blood of Christ. But with many of them, God was not well pleased. Now, you know, the truth is, God's not well pleased with some of us that are sitting here in church today. Not well pleased. Like he wasn't pleased with them. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. So God had to beat up on them, huh? Let's check out and see why. This is today's reading for today. I ain't picking on nobody. There goes Varga again, all them negative messages. I just preach what the Bible teaches day by day. Amen. I just go through it. Just like Army Chow, I slap it on the plate and you're going to take it. You want me to tickle your ears. Now these things, let's look at verse 6. This is what's for. Now these things were our examples. You see, this was an example to help us. 
the church in the wilderness, the church of Jesus Christ, is an example for the church at Corinth and the church in Daytona Beach today. Examples. Are you ready for the example? How many of you are ready for the example? You going to take it? You going to pay attention? Huh? You going to listen? Hope so. To the intent we should not lust after evil things. Oh. They just like us. Lusted. In the wilderness they lusted after evil things. In Corinth they lusted after evil things. In Daytona Beach what do we do? Lust after evil things. Let's say it together. Come on, let's say it together. We lust after evil things. Huh? Come on. We lust after evil things. How many of you, how many of that's you sometime? Like it is me. Is that you sometime? Lusted after evil things. So this is our, what? Example. God repeats it. As they also lusted. Wilderness, they lusted. Corinth, they lusted. Daytona Beach, we lust. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Same old, same old. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Man, we got it today, just like they had it in Corinth, don't we? Huh? Yeah. Just like they did in the wilderness. Eat and drink and rise up to play. Especially on the weekends, see? Eh? Last night, big night, Saturday night. Neither let us commit fornication. Same old deal. Wilderness? Huh? Yeah. They have the example in here of the 23,000 being slain. Remember Balaam? Mary, come and tell me about the guy from the Salty Church. I don't know how he... I'm going to listen to a sermon of his today because I've been hearing some things about that church lately. Best thing I heard about him was uh, one of the uh, women that works in social services here said that uh, uh, they're the only church that gives out vouchers for housing. So that's a good thing if they give out vouchers for housing. So, good for you, Salty Church. And I, they do some other things over there, too. Yeah, that's good. I don't know how the guy preached. I don't know what he's all about, but I'm going to find out because I just heard enough about him to look into him a little bit. See if he's real or a phony. I don't know. He might be real. He might be a phony. I, I, I got no opinion because I never heard the man preach. But I'll tell you, after I hear his preaching, I'll tell you what he is real, real quick. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell one day, three and 20,000. I, I told this to, to Carl and Mary because the guy over there was preaching about Balaam. I, I You know, whatever, I'd, I'd have to listen to it myself to make, I'm not going to comment on it because I didn't hear the sermon. A lot of times people hear a sermon, but they only get a little bit of it or none of it. Sometimes they get it, but I don't know, but I'll listen on my own. But Balaam, he couldn't get him. The king, Melech, wanted them to curse Israel. God wouldn't let him. He blessed Israel. So you know how you know how Balaam got Israel with whores. The idols and the, and the whores of Baal Peor, B A A L P E O R. Two words, Bail Peor. Look it up on uh, on, on Facebook. I, I showed it. I showed it to you today again. I can't talk about it, really. How, how many of you say, Pastor Varga, you're a pretty blunt preacher. You tell it, kind of, you're pretty blunt. This this thing of Bail Peor is so nasty. I won't talk about it from the pulpit. I mean, it's that nasty. I mean, it's filled, filled, filled. I'm going to show you a little six-minute video. It's only five minutes, five and a half minutes. I'm going to show it to you afterward like I showed it to you a couple weeks ago. I mean, he got him. I mean, it's just, it's so nasty, I can't, I can't talk about it. 
But anyway, committed fornication. And what, what do you hear about this fornication? Oh, my Lord, God, help us. Fell in one day, 23,000. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed by serpents. Remember that? What did God have to do when the serpents were biting them for all their wicked acts? Remember what he did? He made a brazen pole. And what did he put on top of the pole? Serpent. And if, if they looked at the brazen pole and the serpent, they could be saved. And that's true. That, that was true because it told us that in where? John chapter 3. About the brazen serpent. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured. How, how many have been guilty of murmuring? I have. You ever been guilty of murmuring? we we, we got to watch that. We, we need to be thankful. Thankful, not murmurs. Complainers, grumblers. No. Murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. You know what you get for murmuring and complaining? God turned you over to the destroyer. I'm just reading the Bible for today. New Testament reading. Now all these things happen them for examples. Examples to who? It was examples to the Corinthians that we're reading here from the wilderness. And it's examples to us from the wilderness and Corinthians. You understand? And it's trying to give us an example about Baal be a four. And Balaam couldn't cuss, couldn't curse children of Israel. But he got him with that filthy sexual wickedness. And I'm going to play it. In, but you can, out there on the internet, you, you can find it. Just look under, just look under B-A-L, B-A-A-L, P-R, P-E-O-R, Belfior. And it's the, it's, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the filth of the open hole. That, that, that's where you'll find it on the internet. Belfior, the filth of the open hole. That, 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 that's what it's titled. So it's five and a half minutes. Did it knock the socks off you? I ain't going to talk about it. I'll show it to you. And they are written for our admonition. What does it mean? God wants to help us. You know what on this little five, it says a lot in this little five and a half video. It talks about the worship of Baal Peor today. You know who's part of it? I'll give you your name. Madonna. She's part of it. And they got others on there. They show them singing and they give you the words to the songs that they sing. The Bel Pior songs about the open hole. Where do you see it? They are written for our magnition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Preacher, be careful. Christian, be careful. Mama and daddy, be careful. Child, be everybody be careful. Thinketh he standeth. You know, you think you're pretty strong. You get playing around with this filth. Baal Peor and other witchcraft and wickedness. Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest they fall in. Many a mighty man and many a mighty woman who thought they were fell to these wicked sexual cults. It's rampant today. I'm just teaching what the Bible teaches. It's today's reading. I ain't picking on no one. I'm showing you the example that it can help you. Amen? Amen. We need help. Pay, pay attention. This is the last verse in it. 1 to 13. Listen to this. 
You better memorize it because it's true. Therefore, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. You know, we all got the same temptations. Any one of us could be involved in Baal PR. Yeah, they got it today. You could be involved. I could be involved. Involves men and women. Common to man. But God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. You see, God will get you out of it. Many times in the flesh, I've tried, to, I've tried to beat Satan. You have too. And you know what? We lose every time. Every single time we try to fight Satan in the energy of the flesh. No matter what your temptation is. No matter what your sin is. And they could be many. And they are many. We lose. The Bible says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are mighty glory through God to the pulling down of strongholds, Baal PR, strongholds. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mind you, God, pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations. Just think, just think right now, some of the filthy, wicked imaginations that you have had in you. How, how many of you, you've had imaginations that you can't even believe you thought that? Did, did you have that? I have. I have. I have. I have. You have. You have too, Vernon. Everybody has. Casting down imaginations that come from Lucifer and his demons. You better wake up to what demons are, who they are, and what they do. We're no, we're no match for them. They wrap you around their little finger like nothing. Casting down imaginations and everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringeth every thought Every thought, every thought, every thought, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yeah. Our mind. Do what you do and do it. Huh? Do what you have to do and do it. I heard do what you had to do and I didn't hear nothing else. You, yeah, no, you can't resist. You, you, you're, you're, you're. I, I can't hear. Well, we'll have to talk later because I can't hear you. But I'm telling you something. It only can be done through the power of God, our Heavenly Father, the Blessed Holy Spirit. You can't do a thing. You can't do anything to defeat Satan. And you're gone. You're, you're beat. You're defeated. Though we walk in the flesh, we not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, the pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations, and everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringeth every thought into the obedience of Christ. That's the way you're going to beat it. That's the way you're going to beat it. Other than that, you're going to get hooked up in Baal PR. I'm going to show you Baal PR here in a little bit. Look it up out there in the internet. YouTube. Baal PR. The open hole. Look it up. Yeah, I can't talk about it. It's too... I'm a pretty open preacher. I tell it like it is, but... I ain't, I ain't going there. It's, just, it's rough, man. I mean, it's rough. Yeah. Oh, dear one. God, I got people sitting here in church right now. You don't have the victory. It could be in many things. It's not just sexual sins. 
that's a predominant one that the Bible talks about. Like this is today's reading. It's talking about sex. People say, oh, you got something wrong with you, Varga. You talk about sex. Oh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just reading the Bible. They had it in the wilderness. They had it in Corneth, wicked city. We have it in Daytona, wicked city. Amen. In New York and L.A., Detroit, used to live there. Chicago, used to spend a lot of time there. Wickedness. No temptation taking you with his common demand. God is faithful. Not suffering to be tempted, well, but you're able with temptation to make a way of escape. Wouldn't you like to get above all this filthy mess? Would you? Would you like to get above it? Would you like to? Would you like to get it? Well, get it. Get saved if you're not saved, and if you're saved and backslidden, get the victory. Guess those imaginations. Everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. The mind of Christ that's available for saved people. I'm so glad. If we walk in the Spirit, Holy Ghost Spirit, will not fulfill the lusts and desires of the flesh. The victory can be attained. You have to do it personally. No matter if your daddy was a preacher... The only thing matters is you personally with God getting forgiven and living right. You getting it? I try to preach as plain and simple as I can. This ain't rocket science. Baal PR isn't rocket science. It's just, it tells you the degradation and the filthiness that man can be dragged to by the demons of hell. God help us. Heavenly Father, thank you. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1 to 13. Reading for today. Save that sinner nearest hell. People in church here today need to be saved. People out there on the internet need to be saved. Need to repent. Repent. At least ye likewise perish. That came out of the mouth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent. At least ye likewise perish. God calls us to repentance for salvation. And he calls us to repentance for backslidden Christians. Help us to do it. Many people in church today need to come to this old-fashioned altar. We've put nice carpet on it to make it easier on your knees when you deal. When you kneel. I need it today. My, my right knee is twice as big as it should be swollen. I need that carpet today. I need that altar today. Kneel and pray. Repent today. Help us, Lord. You that are lost, pray the sinner's prayer with me. You know if you're lost. Receive Christ now. Here's the prayer. Pray it. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross. Rose from the grave the third day. The best I know how, with an honest heart, I turn from my sins, receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Oh, Lord, I'm thankful that hopefully some in church have received Christ today like I did April 4th, 1969. Some out there in the internet, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Help us, Lord. We love you. What a wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. What a wonderful Savior, my precious Lord Jesus Christ. Backsliders are here. We all backslide some. If you know you backslid today, you're not right with God. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Think about it now. What do you need to confess, Christian? You know you say, but you're backslidden. Confess it. 
we confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do it today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen.